So tape techniques from the early period of electronic music. The first thing I'm going to show is the idea of uh, producing an accumulation, that's to say a layering up of uh, different materials using a delay line created over two tape recorders. Uh, this allows us to build up a kind of cluster of material. And for that I'm using uh, some uh, electronic sounds from a 1970s style synthesizer here. Of course, um, for sound material you could use any kind of material like uh, recorded material for example. It doesn't have to be synthetic material but that's easy for this demonstration. So I've got a, a tape that is recording on this head on this tape recorder here and it's going for a four and a half second uh, delay and it's being played back on this tape recorder over here uh, and then that's been put back into the mixer uh, where it's being re-recorded with the new material uh, from the synthesizer onto the uh, tape head, the record head on the first recorder. So first of all we'll put the two tape recorders into into uh, play and then we'll we'll then put it into record we're going to empty the tape that uh, goes four and a half seconds uh, past the heads I'm going to put that it should be empty now and then I'm going to put in the first material three, four and a half. That's already two layers have come in. And we'll change the pitch a little bit. And then we'll change also the filtering a little bit. tape now that we've just recorded we'll have a, uh, a section where there's several layers of sound material all piled up on top of one another so we call that accumulation um, I'll uh, do the same thing now using a slightly different sound material here I've got uh, a kind of more of a kind of staccato sound material so we'll attempt to attempt to produce a kind of uh, texture out of this uh, so we'll again we'll switch those off for the moment we'll put the tapes into play this one into record uh, this we're doing at the moment in mono as it happens we could be doing this in stereo as well creating a stereo field of material so first of all we'll put the first layer of material now we have two layers of material and gradually we can change the speed a little bit we should kind of randomize the, the texture a little bit so right now we pretty much have four seconds of that texturized material so we can stop that there. The next thing we'll do is edit those into loops. So to do that we'll take this uh, tape that we've just recorded, put it onto a, a machine that's good for editing on, which is this Studer. We'll, we'll rewind, rewind to um, to the beginning of those two uh, sets of material. 
for a second material. And this is probably the around about here is the first material. make a loop out of this, see how it works. So we got up, up to about there with our loop. So, okay, so we'll cut out from there. Go back. Looking for the for the mark of where where it is. So that's my loop. We'll see how that works out. So I said that we're recording this was that we're recording a four and a half second loop. In actual fact, we're recording at fifteen, so it's, it's half that. It's about two and a half seconds, or a little bit more, maybe three seconds. We'll see how long a loop does this look like. It is. It looks like it's about uh, three seconds. Three second loop. Once we've got the loop here. Put it on there for a second. We have to stick the the old bit of tape together so that we can reuse it later. Um, it's not great to use tape that's been cut up and spliced up like this, but but um, for demonstration purposes it doesn't matter very much. We're not making a, a real composition here. So going to play this loop on this playback machine so I need to take the tape reels off here put them over there for a moment while I'm operating on the other machine so here we have the tape loop put it through the heads and um, See what it sounds like. that onto another tape to make a continuous material of that kind if we want. <laughs> <laughs> 